Hello YouTube, so today I just wanted to talk about um, leaks and rumors and stuff because I've been seeing a lot of it on my Twitter feed because it's E3 season and as usual everybody's talking about the new Nintendo Switch model and things like that also a new game that's supposed to be developed by the same people who made the Shin Megami Tensei games got leaked I mean the release date got leaked and you know a lot of stuff going on so um one thing is that I really don't understand why people get excited over leaks <laughs> um, I guess leaks is still understandable because it's information it, that's already announced but it got announced earlier right or maybe information that wasn't supposed to be out yet but was gonna be announced later whatever so I guess it's understandable to be kind of excited but for people like me like I can mute all the words I want but I'm not going to suspect that okay so maybe this game is going to get leaked or this information is gonna get leaked so I'm going to mute all these words like I'm not gonna be doing that so it's kind of disappointing to see for example the um, Shin Megami Tensei devs game new game uh, release date and more details getting leaked like I didn't really want to see it I really wanted to see it when it actually got announced <laughs> I mean it's not something I'm gonna cry over but it does bother me a bit because it's not really information that I want to see until it's actually out but uh, for rumors I don't understand why people talk about rumors all the time because I don't know since when the new Switch Pro models uh, rumors started I feel like after the first year they were already talking about a more powerful Switch model and I'm not sure if they were referring to the newer model with the better battery or if that was something else because I really didn't follow those rumors but I feel like like every month someone says yes the, this credible source or this new patent says that they're gonna make a new switch and I'm like they've been saying this for years and I'm sure that it's gonna happen you know someday and they're gonna say see it says right here that it was gonna happen so it doesn't really make sense to me that people actually believe all this or actually follow all this all the time <laughs> especially after you know one year two years three years it doesn't really make sense to me and it's kind of getting annoying um but i don't know i guess the media or the news outlets will just post everything that you know earns them lots of clicks and maybe that's very popular <laughs> i don't know so it's very annoying actually to see all those rumors because most of them are just just really doesn't make any sense uh, or they never come true and they never talk about it again and other things are like the switch pro model they're gonna keep talking about it until it actually becomes reality <laughs> um, just by following the past like trends of how gaming consoles have been releasing I'm sure that you can guess that there is gonna be a powerful model of the switch someday so it's not hard to you know make up a rumor of when it's gonna come out and it'll eventually become true and as for rumors of the e3 presentation what's gonna be happening what's gonna be announced which games are uh, gonna show up is metroid gonna show up and if uh, f-zero is gonna be made what about uh, the earthbound series and things like that like, I don't know I feel like they do this every year and I understand that it's something to be excited about but in my case personally and it, this doesn't bother me at all when I see it on the Twitter or wherever because you know people can speculate all they want but in my case like I don't like guessing and thinking about it because most of the times I'm left disappointed <laughs> uh, most of the times they don't show anything that I'm waiting to see or hoping to see so I'm just you know there for the ride but not expecting much so I don't like to think about it too much and also I'd rather everything be a surprise most of the times if I don't think about it and they show something that's kind of interesting I'll be like oh wow at least they showed this but if I think about oh I want to see Shin Megami Tensei 5 or Shin Megami Tensei 6 or whatever you know and they don't show it I'm like sad 
So that's why I don't really like rumors and speculations and things like that. But I feel like I see this almost every day on the Twitter feed and YouTube videos. So, but yeah, I mean, I am excited for E3 since uh, Nintendo already announced that they'll be doing a 40 minute long presentation or something. So let's see what happens and I'm sure I'll make a video on it when I do see it and hopefully they announce something really cool. Anyways, thank you for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!